for being on time. This is a good quality, as we said before. Uh, Said Ali Mabrouk winning the league last night after long, long, long game. So you deserve it. Your team deserves it. Uh, today, it is a, a topic that uh, I think all of you will have a direct connection to. And nevertheless, that your speaker is uh, uh, Paul. He is uh, one of the main guys in CCM. He is behind organizing him and Dietrich, behind organizing, doing this fantastic job with IHF cooperation. And I have to say, I have been with CCM for a long time. Having Paul made big difference. Thanks. His all experience in the French Federation, he brought it up to IHF, and this is this made all these things possible. We were talking about the multiplier course after. You see, we are connecting the dots. We are connecting this course with, with the next course, inshallah. This is a process that Asia, Asian Handball Federation, uh, have formed a group of experts to follow this task. Uh, my colleague, Dr. Khaled, Dr. Taysir, Mr. Choi, Mr. Ali Habibi and Professor Paul Singh from India. We are all this group and uh, we are we make sure that Asia will be a role model in this cooperation and having coaches being certified and educate the coaches. Not taking much of your, your time, I will encourage you to ask questions, encourage you to give your comments, encourage you to give your point of view or any opinion you wish to add when you have time to do this. We, we as responsible, we would like to know how much knowledge you have taken by expressing your, your opinion. Uh, Paul, thank you so much for yes. being with us today. I'm sure what I have seen before uh, the lecture that what you have prepared surely to the point of the need of the coaches. Good luck, my friend. Thanks, thanks a lot. So I will share my screen. It's okay for all. It's okay? It's a bit unclear again, but um... Uh, but we, if we give it a few minutes, I think it'll, it's it'll be fine. It's getting clearer. It's getting clearer. Just guys, just wait. There's nothing wrong with your computers. Okay. Just for wait for a while. It will be fine. So some words uh, as introduction. I'm interested to present you this topic: uh, tactical flexibility in defense. It's not a new uh, topic. You know, all of you, you know this uh, tendency in the last years. But more and more, the coach must, have, must take care about um, evolution of defense. And I'm interested to present you today to, to give you some additional information if you need it, but especially to share with you about this uh, topic. So tactical flexibility in defense, as you know, it could be like um, an additional insurance to win uh, at the top level, but you know, it's a, a question also of for all levels to have a better understanding of the game and to uh, improve the level of the game in any country. And uh, as we saw last years, or last uh, week about some topics you discussed also about with some uh, coaches more and more teams defend actively and more and more uh, switch their defensive systems so each coach must have a look about this and consequently the team the players but also the youth teams all of them must have a good uh, knowledge about and a good control, a better, a better um, individual and collective tactical intentions uh, in defense. And uh, I'm interested today to 
to, to um, have a focus, especially about individual, uh, individual, uh, and individual inten tactical intentions in defense. First, is okay for the quality of the video? Come back again. You see it correctly? So uh, I start with this topic with uh, an, an offensive uh, situation, as you know, one-on-one, <clears throat> uh, -on -one, when you have a lot of players, players in a very good level of one-on-one, -on -one, it's not easy to organize a good defense, individually and uh, collectively. And this uh, girl, Russian girl, is the top of the top about this. But have a look about the same situation in defense with the same player in the right side. She, she's not so tall, this girl, but so smart. So have a look about the right side. Uh, ça commence. Then I have some problem. What is it? It's blocked. Um, maybe, maybe. Um... Oh, it will be okay. So have a look on the right side. This the same player in this behavior. Uh, behavior in defense. Now, people so tall, but it's not a problem for her. And now, see the cooperation with uh, his par uh, partner and try immediately with a quick reaction to intercept the ball and immediately continue to go in attack. And this uh, another situation. We saw uh, one of them, of those situations last week. This adapted defensive uh, situation. We are in the big at the beginning of the the match, the final, the match, and we can observe. <clears throat> So we can observe that pressure on the backs, individual pressure, co good cooperation between defense, difficulty, you, are, you see now the two pivots, it's difficult to play at the same time the two pivots. And at the same time, you, you, will, you will see the pressure on the offense on, uh, with the two offensive defenders not so easy for the attack to continue to, uh, to uh, follow a tactical plan. And that's also, this adaptation in defense is uh, a key point uh, in each tactical and flexibility uh, point. So remember, just remember those uh, four key points, uh, individual player profiles uh, are increasing the last years more and more men and women fast play in all phases tactical change of rims also care of success and don't forget not only in positional attack but also in a fast break some uh, especially between the second and third wave and less and less uh, decisive uh, passes less and less passes to propose the decisive uh, situations. So that's influence, also an influence about the choice to, uh, to propose in the future more flexibility in defense. 
have a look about this uh, situation, for example, uh, in the central defense. What's interesting to observe, the cooperation between the two number three in the central defense. Have a look about the, this pivot. Pivot is two meter 10. So it's a big one. Mm -hmm. So how the cover and the cover is assist is very interesting. And to the ball and immediately go forward. So flexibility is not a question of team tactic. But only a question of individual tactical flexibility. It's okay. Close cooperation. So, uh, as we discussed also last days, uh, more and more variable tactical concepts in attack, in tactical attack. In opponent's behavior, more and more uh, change of um, change of um, behavior. So that will be also in, in having influence about the defense tactics. So we can see more and more flexible and active defense. So distinguished, please, flexibility and active, and uh, classical defense system and uh, offensive uh, defense system. You can have a look about this, this clip also, under 18, Korean team. Also interesting uh, to have an active and offensive defense. You know this uh, defense. It's close to 3-3, three, three, but more more flexibility inside this. So what's interesting to observe is also the, each, each position in defense, depend of the pivot, depend of the direct opponent, and how they reduce the space, uh, depend of um, the, the three backs. And now the distance between the three backs and the three backs and the three, uh, for, uh, the three wings and pivot, it's not easy to cooperate. So easy to, uh, to stop the attack and to, um, to intercept the ball eventually. Uh, also, uh, what is interesting to observe, we observe um, mainly classical 6-0 defense with some adaptation, like in this Hungarian team. And the attack during uh, this, during this tactical organization with a crossing, classical crossing with the pivot. And you can observe now a lot of uh, defenders in central area. So not a good decision in defense, so take care when you, we decide to propose an active defense, must propose a good basic uh, behavior in one-on-one -on -one situation and this is not good timing, not good position. So the right back can use this numerical superiority three against two in the outside uh, space. It's a better quick uh, reaction. So we must take care about uh, a good close cooperation also when we decide an active defense. Remember also this, uh, this tendency about the less number of technical fall in attack, about also how technical force reduced a lot last years, last five, eight years especially, and also an impact about the, the positive development uh, we can observe also in all 
categories, not only in a senior team, but also in the youth teams. And more and more, and uh, 16 and uh, 15 years old also. So you can confirm, observe that more and more from a 6 0 defense, we can see some adaptation, some individual behavior, the indiv individual tactical intentions. But if the cooperation is not good or in the basics have, are not respected, like you can see in this crossing uh, situation. I just have a look about this point. Yes, now you can have a look how you went. Oh, one second. You can have a look about this. It is a key point for defender, decision, position, behavior, um, anticipation. When you, you can see this attack uh, with this position, it's, not, it's useless to continue to close the gap, for example, or to go to continue to block because he cannot shoot or he decide to shoot is quick. It will be difficult for him. So this uh, defender don't take care about the basic technical possibilities of the attacker with the ball. And then you can see how easy it is for the attacker. So when we are in 6-0 system, classical system, if we are interested to adapt, we must take care about a good, uh, a good progressive line, tactical line. Or like this also, have a look about the central defense. If we are in, a, in a, an offensive, an offensive position in defense like this, for example, no pivot. So it's easy to continue to go forward in defense. But if you decide individual decision, why not? But must be organized, not only individually, but in cooperation with partner or it's not in good timing. And it's not also good organized, depend of this big gap and this uh, easy pass assist. So we talk about this quality of attacking play. We are talking about uh, also very important uh, key point for um, offensive to decide if offensive must be more offensive defense. We observe that the back position now is um, a long shot, uh, very good uh, effectiveness. So if uh, the defense don't move from a 6-0 defense, defensive defense or defensive systems to passive, it, it's impossible to, to win the game. Um, so, Paul, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Um, it, uh, text on the presentation is still a bit unclear. I um, I think this is, um, it's not only for me. Yeah. Um, maybe you can take. Yeah. Do you want me to share? Yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah. You can just try. Yeah. Yeah. True. This is the not clear actually. Not good. Not correct. Yeah. Yes. Not clear, sir. Not clear. Clearly proper. So I, I start to share and then you, you Yes. Present, uh, we, yeah, we can try from my computer. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Also, the text is not so clear. Yeah. 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 Okay. I started sharing. Um, could you yes. just let me know yes. if you can see it and how it looks? Yeah. Very good. Um, it is, it is, it is very good. Okay, um, 
Let me just really clear, really clear, it's very really clear, absolutely just... clear. Okay, that's good. Just let me know what slide you were on. Yes. So uh, later, next. Oh, sorry. Next, 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 also next. After this, now, you can see this. At this video? Yes, yes, come back to this. Yes, we can start with this. Okay. Have a look about the Egyptian team in defense. Take care about the, the, the key points we discussed some seconds before, and have a look about the behavior in defense, which are also, at the same time, flexibility active and pressure con continuously uh, put pressure on uh, this attack. And you can see the result to uh, intercept uh, the ball. You can have another time, Torsten. Yep. Um, can everybody see it okay? Is it better than before, the video? Yes, yes it is far better than before. It is okay. better. Okay, yeah. good, good. So Torsten, you can decide uh, twice each uh, clip. Thank you. Yep. And I continue to comment. So uh, have a look, uh, focus on the defender position, especially the two forward uh, defenders. Steps, uh, forward movement, backward movement, adaptation, close, close the space. And you can see, you can observe, most of the time they are in uh, superiority, numerical superiority in, uh, in defense. And immediately, like Egyptian, like to go quickly. Next, uh, Torsten. So we, we yes, we discussed about this. So you can continue. So next, this clip, yes. Have a look also about the, the attacker, the defender on the right side. You observe. They reduce the space step by step and put pressure on the, on the attacker. And you can see now the center back. She decide to go without any decisive uh, um, action to pass to the pivot, to shoot, so it's not so clear. So advantage is in in defense and to intercept with a good organization depends the pivot position. That's a good adaptation in defense uh, in a short time. Have a look about the two key points, tactical key points. Put pressure and reduce space step by step. Okay. Okay, next. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, an important uh, point uh, you discuss, I suppose, uh, with Ramon uh, last week, uh, uh, last days. Um, don't forget, for the coach, it's very important that your team uh, have a good understanding about the evolution of the rule interpretation, about this rule eight, especially. System line for progressive punishment. You know that uh, direct two minutes is possible from the very beginning. Uh, so that could be a, a also a, a key point for defender, uh, also for the attacker, but especially for defender. And especially for defender about this goal area, um, the pivot uh, consistent line for duels around the goal area, what's happened around the pivot. Uh, uh, when you are long holding means immediately uh, two minutes. So you must find different ways to, um, to, um, to have the ball. And a passive, about passive play, we will discuss also, I suppose so you have this information, could be mm, uh, next year, could be that passive play, we play with uh, four, when forewarning signal uh, will be shown, 
could be for fa maximum four passes and not six like now. So could be for defenders a good advantage if defense are a good organized. Yes. Example around the, we saw this clip mostly last week. Have a look about the pivot and the defenders. You can see long holding and immediately two minutes. You can understand if the defender uh, don't have a, a good position before the pass. It's uh, now it's immediately a, a big difficulty. Okay, next. And confirmation about this, uh, you know, and it could be uh, for me, it could be an advantage for Asian some Asian teams to try to uh, continue to um, uh, defend in the ball oriented way uh, with a good, um, a good uh, mentality, good pressure, good uh, team tactic, team tactic spirit, team tactic pressure. It could be a good idea to improve this idea about um, to have a better position between ball and opponent. It's very basic in handball. And I think uh, we saw over the last two years, especially, I think it's uh, we, for the next two, three years could be very good. Um, we will see a very good situations. Even the um, central defenders succeed in blocking or even intercepted intercepting passes to the line. That was also a permanent uh, observation last two years. Okay. You, we can see this clip with uh, in Japan the last year, for example. Have a look about the central defense. How the, the cooperation between the two, the two central defenders is good and depend of the ball position of the, the center back. It's easy to intercept and immediately without goalkeeper to have a, a goal. Okay. The same uh, in another situation. The same idea in the central defense uh, with uh, German in the, in the last uh, World Championship with uh, Denmark against Norway. You can have a look in slow motion. The position, we can see uh, a lot of times that the, the back, the back has a um, prefer to pass with a bounce pass to the pivot. Now this pass is very well known for all defenders. So it's not so easy to, uh, to have a good efficacy in this position because the defender ant anticipates this pass. Okay. And the quality is not so good now, Thorsten. Okay. People can continue if the, the quality is not good. Ah. Say. Can you not read it clearly? Yeah, now it's okay. Okay. Uh, we must uh, two seconds warm up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, have a look about this uh, six zero defense. And our, uh, the next tactical um, improvement we will see, and especially cooperative play depend on the pivot. Uh, you know that with all teams are very good pivot, even sometimes two pivot. And if the 6-0 defense is not organized, good organized depend on this, it's uh, immediately difficult, uh, an important difficulty for defense. 
and also connected with the rules interpretation by the referees concerning close duels. And you have certainly last um, last discussion with Ramon Gallego and Dietrich about this. Uh, you must be connected how we can organize a good defense around the pivot and the rule interpretations. But we will see that the teams prepare with a better uh, active defense for the future but in this point, especially, okay? You can see in this uh, clip, the, the team of Netherlands in defense. You will have a look about the pivot and you will see in the slow motion and Torsten, if you can a still image when the pivot is now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just uh, later. L yes, I come back some seconds, two seconds before, before the, uh, the people receive the ball, just before. Yes, now you can see, yeah, okay, now, super. You can have a look now. So the cooperation between the back and the pivot, and especially the, this basic position, you know that this basic position in defense it's now uh, uh, immediately a big difficulty. So if you don't find of the defender, don't anticipate to be in front of or to be uh, between the ball and the direct opponent, immediately uh, you can see it's a two against one in, uh, in attack, immediately. So it's not two against two, but two against one. Uh, so uh, have a look about this and have a look about the step the steps, the two steps of the defender and the basic position of the pivot also. That's also a key point uh, in the future to organize tactically a better uh, basic position, okay? Receive the ball in this situation now is immediately minimum seven meter and perhaps more, two minutes or more. Now an uh, additional idea about the active defense uh, with under 18 to put permanent pressure on the attack. Have a look about the forward defenders. It's short, but uh, we can have a look about the beginning of the, the action. And Torsten, if you can stop uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning. Yes. When we can see the um, still image with uh, the first two seconds. Yes, now, okay. So you can have a look about the distance between the backs and the forward defenders. How the distance is so long between the forward, the pivot and the wings. And immediately we can see when this attack will start, the attack will have some difficulty. Okay, some two seconds later. When the left, receive the ball now, yes, okay, super, stop, okay. So now you can understand where are the solutions for the attack, it's difficult. So, uh, and in defense, always in, um, in each basic position, you can have a look about the numerical superiority in defense, three against two, four against three. So uh, it's, they can, the, the defenders can anticipate and can adapt easily, okay? Stop, okay. And then uh, additional, pro, additional difficulty for the, for the attack is uh, that the left back uh, um, choose this side pass and it's so easy to intercept this pass it's not a good choice for the left back. So uh, addition, additional problem for the attack. So not a good pass. 
technically it's not good. Okay. You know that this path is easy to intercept. Okay, next. Okay, so you can short resume uh, variable tactical game concepts with an adaptation to the defense behavior. So that's basic for the attack. It's always a game. Uh, who will win so is a question of uh, choice of good tactical choice. Don't forget about the, uh, that even the intensity of the game continue to go up. Sometimes the defenders the, um, don't follow this line and the, sometimes the defenders intensity is not enough. So we can have immediate difficulties if our defenders don't have uh, a better intensity and a higher intensity in defense. So like uh, we are interested to have more flexible and active defense means that we need to have a better level of individual uh, technique and varied technique and tactics. So even we are in a high level, we must continue to improve so individual varied techniques and tactics for each player in each defensive position. Okay. Okay, so we can uh, stop some uh, seconds now. And Nabil, we can, uh, Torsten, we can, uh, if some coaches, some coaches have or questions or additional observations about this topic, we are interested to, to share with them. And perhaps, uh, Torsten, you can uh, go out some minutes, some seconds. Yep. So, can I speak, please? Yeah, please. So, question or additional observation, comments? It's no, very... it's, a, it's a self opinion. Yeah, we are very interested about this. Uh, no doubt uh, these days that the, the, the defense in handball is a, is a large key to win any game or to success because the new handball now depends on the strong defense, strong goalkeepers, and easy goals from faster break. So I think to to have uh, this good uh, issue, you sh we should work, uh, especially in uh, most of our Asian uh, countries, on the mentality of the player. If you want to play a good defense, you have to love to play defense. Yeah. Most of our players like to score and don't like to play too much defense. They think it's uh, something, uh, you know, it's not priority to play defense. Yeah. But uh, these days, the defense is very, very important. So mentally, I think we should work on our talented player from the beginning of their ages. So they will, uh, in the future, they will love to play defense and uh, succeed to have a variation defense, not only physically. Hmm. I completely agree with you. It's a question of also a positive motivation for the player and yes. the, the, the team. And with the coach, and the coach is responsible. Hello, sir. Sure, sure. Yeah. Hello, sir. Sir, it's my observation I have seen. So, according to your video, uh, this one. So, then uh, um, uh, if uh, flexible defense, uh, fully uh, success of the flexible, flexible defense depends upon the uh, this speed, more speed of the than attacker. Because if you, if you are not um, more speed of the defense in the uh, changing the positions, and go uh, go up and go goes down. So then it is the more faster than attacker. So then I can't get a success. It is my observations. So then I can't uh, this uh, anticipate the ball if I don't think so fast. Don't move. Don't move so fast. So then it is the uh, it is my observations. So we have flexible defense. Then we can success if we go for more more faster movement. 
uh, that area. Yeah, com Mario. also completely, yeah, uh, completely agree with you. It's also a question of a good timing in defense. Yeah. And as we, we use this word as coach, don't um, have a good defender, is, uh, good uh, behavior with his leg steps at first and not with the arm. Don't yes. defend with the uh, arms, but with your legs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Paul, yes. Uh, one uh, comment, and I like your opinion as well. You mentioned something very interesting that uh, the technical mistakes have dropped, although the game is faster, yeah. more attacks. So, is it because of the quality of the training, the quality of the players? selection process or all this together because it is very interesting point for our coaches to know that the technical mistakes now in the international level have dropped because of what paul yeah uh, exact as i try to uh, to motivate you about this uh, observation um, technical foul uh, less and less uh, uh, under, under 17 years old, uh, in Europe, in uh, a lot of teams, we, we observe this. The best teams, best teams is uh, between first and eight, 10 places, each competition, they have less and less technical fouls. And this depends of the education process also in the country. Uh, if you don't prepare uh, as soon as possible, under 12, under 14, under 16 years old, this to have a better, um, better um, uh, technique. Knowledge. It will be difficult if you ask suddenly when you are in international level. Suddenly, you ask to the, to the player to play quick, to play fast. It's impossible to control. It's it's possible to play quick but without the ball and we lose too many times the ball. So it's connected, technical foul, less technical fouls and a better quality in attacking play. And at the same time, we can observe that in defense, if we continue to be too many passive, it's impossible to, to have a good behavior in defense. It's impossible to anticipate or if we try to anticipate, you are too many times uh, out of the timing. So it's connected, yes, uh, Nabil, completely and confirmed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we are talking last days about the education process. We are talking about your objectives to, uh, to improve your so youth level is connected. Uh, in, I think two generations could be enough to change completely uh, the level of technical uh, faults, for example, if you take this uh, like uh, in consideration. Yes, an additional observation. Okay, we we'll continue, Torsten. All right. So before to start uh, on the, this photo, have a look about the, the cooperation between the two, three, two number three uh, central defenders in uh, the Croatian team. Have a look about the, the, the central uh, center back, French center back. How he um, takes the ball, the post different possibility to pass on uh, reduced possibilities, and now how um, the two defenders control the situation. That's uh, also very interesting. The basic position of the number twenty-five uh, in defense. So that's a very interesting uh, two and two situation. Okay, next, next, uh, Torsten. So now have a look about the, you can start. 
Constant. Have a look about the Hungarian team, the red team. You will see during the attacking phases, the defensive phases, have a look about the position of each defender, the steps, the balance, the quick move forward movement, the quick backward full movement. You have seen the first idea the two first uh, action in defense were, were to stop, to slow or to stop the action in, the, in attack. And step by step, we saw, you can start again. We saw that uh, the Swedish team has more uh, reduced possibility. Step by step. And what we discussed about some uh, minutes ago about the active defense, uh, quick movement, it's like this. You can see some very quick forward movement to stop the attack, to slow the attack, to put pressure, permanent pressure. And at the end, it, was, uh, it will be an attack of foul. So the attack, uh, the defense, can have the ball now. Okay. Okay, so uh, just a, a short, very short resume what we discussed about the classical or traditional defense. The main char tactical characteristics. Uh, no or few attempts to perturb the attack or uh, perturb an attacker. Also, it's a tendency of reaction and not action. So it's not a question of anticipation. And uh, the tactics depends mainly about this traditional defense system. You know all of them. And what we discuss is uh, the traditional systems are like uh, defensive, defensive system 6051, 321, etc. Or classical uh, offensive system 33, 321, uh, uh, different. And or mixed systems like 50 plus 1, 40 plus 2, and so on. And, and um, that and we have a lot of traditional defensive organizations and now we are uh, all, all people know all of them but sometimes we are not able to adapt and to propose some uh, different things it's it's difficult to uh, to have a good result at the end okay so just to resume about the main criteria if we are if we are interested to propose the, to propose um, defensive tactical flexibility mainly as coach you must propose an active defense concept you must have a concept it's not only a different uh, tactical intentions you must have a concept be sure that your players have a good knowledge of individual intention, tactical intentions, team tactical intentions, but at, uh, at the beginning, have a look uh, mainly about individual tactical intentions. The two basic, um, two basic um, tactical means about adaptation and anticipation. Dissipation means for the defender and for the defense. And a resume like this, it's when all is good organized, it's like a collective intelligence. So each player proposes intelligence for the team. And this in, in, in the situation during the game, collective intelligence means it's intelligent of the game situation how the players, each player, understand the situation, how the player read the situation, the attack, read how the team reads the game. That's a priority, and it's not so easy, but necessary. it's necessary to 
to go forward to propose a defensive um, and tactical flexibility. Okay. An example with the Spanish defense in uh, last year, you can have a look about uh, the two forward defenders. Torsten, if you can stop when the stop, 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 stop. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, as the uh, stop, yes, now, yes. Have a look about the two forward defenders. It's very interesting to uh, to distinguish their basic behavior. Central uh, forward defender, the left um, forward defender, close. Um, close um, one on one and in the right uh, forward defender, more distance. So you can have different uh, positions and always that's a basic, uh, basic tactical, um, also basic tactical uh, intention. Also the pivot must be always under control. Could be depend on the ball position close to the pivot or distance, but uh, have a look about the continuity now. What is interesting to observe, you can go slowly. You can uh, have a look about uh, the left back after this pass. Reduce the possibilities step by step. Receive the ball, but it's immediately she is under control. Additional crossing. Okay, they can continue to play, but uh, as have a look now. Yes, you can continue. Have a look. This player is able to show. We 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 give a uh, Spanish uh, defense give a uh, uh, authorization to go outside and shoot, but a long shot. So you can understand quick, quick organization in defense and to put pressure, permanent pressure, and give the possibility to shoot, but under control. But also a basic uh, intention in defense. Must be collective organized, okay? So a, a short resume about this. The team defensive performance it's uh, we are talking about the team depend can depend at first about defender defender uh, i read uh, right actor of his performance means that the defender is uh, acting is uh, participate to the individual and team tactic uh, performance is is individual understanding it must be an actor participate to the strategy of the team. Means also we must have defenders who is able to adapt, smart, intelligent, intelligence of defenders. Um, collective intelligence means uh, all the teams, the teams, all the team uh, has a, a good understanding together, adaptation together, anticipation together, and all those criteria participate to the team defensive performance. That's, uh, it's not um, a question to add step by step, but it's a complex, complex uh, understanding and adaptation. Okay. And we are talking about the complex training session. Uh, you must organize in during the training session, those complex, situation also with to improve the, this team per defensive performance. Yes. So to show, yeah. So re, um, two key words, permanent adaptation. So you, you know, you know this and anticipation. And anticipation depend of the evolution of each situation. It's not a question to organize and, and classical anticipation or classical criteria to anticipate. It's a question uh, adaptation 
an anticipation. This com you must also propose in your training session inside your team complex situations where we can frequency anticipation and adaptation. Complex situations. So to now we, we are talking now how to, to uh, improve this, uh, those two ideas. At first, that was um, in our French Federation I share in our experience the last years. So we are talking about the 20, last 20 years about this. We decide to uh, have a better uh, level in this basic situation one-on-one. -on -one. One on one depend of the attacker situation, but also one on one depend of the defender position. So we we in and uh, the fourteen uh, and um, sixteen and so and later we have we take care about this uh, to have a good technique tactic individually, especially individually and close cooperation about this basic. Uh, position in uh, basic um, situation one on one and what is interesting mentally it's that this defensive option puts responsibilities on the ball attackers defender and when someone in defense in one on one situation is uh, beaten is not a good level he understand immediately what he must uh, prepare what he must improve for the future and it's easier for the coach, for the at first for the player, to be a future actor, to have a better understanding of his own levels and his own necessities. And this, uh, in during uh, training session, we must uh, propose to to the, to the players so uh, content, this content about individual defensive techniques. And at the same moment, learning to anticipate attackers' movement. You understand it's all duel is is a question not only uh, as analytic uh, an, uh, situation in, during training session, but complex uh, complex uh, situation. One on one means attack and defense at the same time. And propose uh, what is also not sometimes not so not so good organized, especially with your young uh, level, levels, is to propose a situation close to the game situation, close or real uh, game situation, or close to concrete game situation. And sometimes we saw during sit, uh, train session some um, situation along uh, completely uh, sometimes outside of the real situation. Okay. Okay. So, have a look about this uh, right back, one-on-one -on -one, uh, situation. I think we saw this clip last, uh, also last week. Have a look about uh, Thorsten. If we can stop when um, the attacker has a ball now. Yes. Okay. Have a look about the, the defender, Spanish defender. How the is balance? How the, how the arms are positioned? And now, step by step, how she's react like this? Stop. Okay. And so more and more flex. The arm is not a good basic situation. You can see, and especially it depend of this uh, quick uh, right back. So quick. Okay. Continue a little bit. Okay. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Now, remember two seconds before, arm was not a good position. And now the arms are in, uh, uh, close in contact, but straighten. And that's not a good position also to, uh, to control the right back. Even this position uh, help uh, more. Um, right back to beat her. Okay. OK. 
this top, and you can see a quick reaction for the right back immediately defender is, is out. So the basic position one on one very 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 is decisive decisive to have to improve our player to have how to have a good basic position. Okay. For us, one on one is basic in uh, in all levels. So the first objective, if you are interesting uh, to to put uh, to organize this, that remember that all um, the best defensive position to use the right different movements, okay, but all are based on the position and movements of the ball. Ball is uh, the, the first criteria, the position of the ball, the passes uh, out, the uh, tack, and natural the ball, that's uh, the basic position. And uh, when remember what we saw uh, some seconds before with the Spanish defender, uh, Avalu, uh, this idea, the direct defender, must be ready to build a wall in front of the ball. A wall means uh, with determination, with a good basic position, with a good understanding of the attacker movements. Uh, the defender must be able to analyze and anticipate. And for this, we must take care during some years to prepare our youngs to have to. Um, to be ready to build this idea of wall, like a wall in front of uh, the attacker. And uh, also the defender must learn to increase his defensive pressure. That means what is a dangerous pass, what is a direct pass, an assist. And that at this moment, he must be ready to increase his defensive pressure and must be able to decide and to decrease this defensive pressure when the attacker wants to go into a dribble, for example, on if the defender chooses to orientate this uh, direct uh, attacker with the ball, must so understand when and how to increase or to decrease this defensive pressure. And if you don't prepare your youth, young players, for this, it's difficult for them to use it during the match. Yes. Okay, so now we will see uh, different clips. Uh, I cut the I cut the action in different clips. So have a look about. Uh, we, we can see several times the first part of the clip. And we, I, I cut this in uh, four, six uh, parts, so we can have a look about the first. Yes, another time. So have a look about the basic uh, defensive, the basic defensive um, organization, six zero defense. But have a look about, um, for example, you can understand that's not so classical movements in defense. Uh, another time, uh, you can see now. At first, the ball is most uh, the ball and the attacker with the ball is the most important. You have a look about the the direct uh, defender, the defender with the direct uh, attacker with the ball crossing and follow and follow. Classical uh, behavior could be I go back in my position in defense. Now I continue and follow the attacker with the ball, and immediately my partner uh, adapt. Okay, next clip, next part. So it's the same line, the same, the continuity. So an outside shot is possible but not in a good uh, position, not a good situation. So it's free throw. So after crossing outside shot is possible. Now next one. 
from a free throw. Uh, okay, next. Uh, okay, you see that um, the plan of the attacker is not so clear. So they decide uh, now it's two and two situations. The center back decide to uh, to control the ball and uh, uh, fake free throw to take time to reorganize. The defense is, you, you can see no big foul, no holding, no pushing. So no danger to this uh, two minutes or, or, the, or, or yellow card or like this. Okay, next one. We continue the same situation. Okay, free throw from the free throw, reorganization of the attack. And now we can see, depending on the pivot position on the opposite side, the attack choose to create a numerical superiority in the left, uh, in the left side. Okay, but in not so good situation and but they succeed to pass to the left wing in a not so clear passes but it's it's possible and the left wing receive yes so next one of them okay we can see this um, another time you can see several times, uh, Torsten, you can propose several times and you can understand how uh, the defense manage to change the, uh, come back, yes. How the defense uh, change their direct opponents from the half defender to go outside and so on. But um, the shoot is an outside um, left wing position and save of the goalkeeper and then immediately uh, fast break. So you can understand for the beginning from the 6-0 defense inside this 6-0 defense, some uh, individual and close cooperation adaptations it means propose additional difficulties to attack and adaptation and um, this attack prepare something, uh, tactical plan, it was difficult to, uh, to respect this plan. It was more, more um, uh, decision of close uh, cooperation, two and two, three and against uh, three against two, more than a, a, a team tactic plan, like they prepare, okay? Okay, now we can see in the same block the situation. Yes, you can have a look now how um, have a look about the passes, the action of um, the left wing. And how the defense is organized. Don't make a foul, a big foul. Close the gap step by step, reduce the spaces, especially uh, depend on the ball uh, position. You can see always during the during this attack phases. Always you can see defense put pressure on the ball on the attacker with the ball. From now, pressure, pressure again, pressure immediately, pressure. Close the gap, and it's possible to shoot, but an outside uh, right and right outside shoot and with the right hand um, shooter. So it's possible to score, but in a not easy position. So understand this evolution of this defense from the 6-0 defense, step-by-step uh, step to reduce um, the tactical possibilities of the attack and orientate also the shoot position. Yes.
So the second objective, we are talking about the ball uh, position as uh, first idea. The second objective is like we saw the, the last clip to orientate the attack and to play especially outside its usual spaces. If you organize a good uh, analysis, if you uh, have a good knowledge of the main tactical principles of the attack, you can organize your defense and propose to this attack to play outside its uh, usual spaces. P pressure, um, this idea on the ball side, anticipating uh, all the passes, and means a very good cooperative, cooperative timing, and also a team confidence. And this is prepared a long uh, time before. And you can distinguish then two sides. We can call a strong side and a weak side. A strong side is uh, mainly depending on the ball position. And the ball position is um, um, that the defender must anticipate and force the attacker to receive the ball and in a position where it will be less dangerous, less dangerous. It's a question to analyze the weak, uh, the strong points and the weak points of the direct opponent. Or like we saw the two clips before, slow down the movement, the ball, the attacker, reduce the time, reduce the spaces. So the, the could be the strong side where the ball and the weak side can, Call this weak side that the defender must be positioned so that he can intercept, he can intercept any pass, any pass. He must analyze, understand the possibilities to, under, to intercept. And, and what is not so easy, at the same time, must be, must always be sure to see the ball and his direct opponent. So you can, you know very well this basic position that if we can organize the same time, the, the basic position to see the ball, direct opponent, it's like uh, beginners at the high level also, but uh, immediately you are in a weak uh, position. So understand also that the strong side and the weak side depend on your strategy could be different, depend of your analysis of the opponent or depend of the, the analysis of your team, of your players. You can have different opinion, but better to uh, uh, explain to the players and that the team can organize uh, with this strong side and weak side, okay? We, we can see now an illustration with uh, the defense in the three parts. I cut also the, I cut also this. Um, remember, remember this, we saw this last uh, days also. Have a look about the 6-0 defensive basic position. Now, when cro after crossing with the left, uh, right back in the central position, uh, they can, the, uh, the defense propose an offensive position on the opposite side of the ball. Easy, easier to organize this, like this. So now the attacker with the ball must decide if she wants to continue on the opposite impossible, she wants to pass to the pivot impossible. So we can continue uh, next. Uh, Part, the same, uh, yes, now. You can see now it's difficult to pass to the um, easy pass to the left back, the left back to the left wing. Time to uh, defenders to go back, to reduce the space, to close the gaps, and to continue to, um, to, re to put pressure and to reduce the tactical possibilities to attack. Now the last part. Now the right back is the center back. No, no possibility to, sh to pass to play with the pivot. The pivot cannot help with the block, cannot help 
the back, or the right, the center back. So the, this um, new center back decide to shoot, but with a good understanding, a good cooperation between the, the, the central defenders and the goalkeeper. So that you can understand in uh, 10 seconds how the defense keep the control of uh, the attack. Okay. So we are talking uh, some minutes ago about the, um, uh, the strong side, the weak side, depend on the ball position, but also a basic uh, principle is that um, the defender depend of the ball attacker. If the ball attacker is dribbling in a depth movement, the defender must adapt his position. He, he can anticipate also, he must anticipate sometimes and he will give additional information, tactical information for to his partners. Depend on is closer or not, uh, and depend of the additional movements uh, in the axis of the, the game. So it's question of ready to help. Help is a basic uh, tactical intention, the cooperative intention in defense. But don't forget, uh, in this situation, the defender remains on the pass line. What means a pass line in offensive and active defense with uh, some decisive, some decisive um, uh, action depend on the direct opponent. And also don't forget uh, that the players cannot anticipate without putting pressure on the ball. Remember the last clips? If you accept to, um, to um, you accept some uh, open space, to open space for the attacker with the ball, with attacker without the ball, if you don't cooperate with the partners on the good timing, if you don't propose a good pressure on the ball, on the attacker with the ball, immediately our um, attacking, uh, our def uh, flexibility in defense will, um, will be destroyed. Okay, so it's very important to have a very good cooperation. Timing is decisive at this moment, okay? To illustrate the same idea with the same uh, match in uh, another moment. 6-0 defense at the beginning. Immediately, you can see now defense decide when the same right back decide to go in the central as a center back, decide immediately to put pressure to reduce individual possibilities. Okay, and now the partners in defense must adapt, depend on this, where the pivot, where the wings and so on. Okay, next one. So the left back must decide. Okay, now, okay, the left back, what's happened? So you can see, redu uh, go, go back, that uh, during those, Five seconds, the attack must go back more to uh, to decide what's happened and what can be decided now. The same moment, the pivot is under control. The difficult to play with the two wings. The two um, backs, left back and right back, are stopped. It's difficult to go forward easily. And have a look about the basic position. Each defender steps, balance, ready to go forward and backward. Yes. And now what is can decide the uh, attacker with the ball? So, so now what can she decide? Yes. Which option they have, she has? Which option? She is alone now. She is alone. And she decides decide because a very big open space 
So she decided to go forward and to shoot. But as you can see at the end, she she shooting in a, under pressure, uh, one against two, light pressure, but pressure, and with the cooperation with the goalkeeper another time. So you can have a look about this um, this um, action, this um, situation, how step by step the defense um, uh, takes the control of the attack and the opponent out of the situation, a good basic situation. Yes, and we are talking about the final, the final World Championship final two, uh, three years ago. But for, don't forget that's not so easy for some players. Please don't make a foul when the situation is under control. That means please don't uh, propose to the attack to uh, an additional reorganization with your foul. You stop, for example, you stop the attacker with the ball, you push, you hold uh, even a short holding with a free throw. So it's not a good idea to propose um, uh, to propose a foul in at this moment. And this no danger. We are we are the attacker is under control, and it's difficult to um, it's difficult for the attacker to to be in direct danger. So have a look about the illustration. Yes. You will see, for example, this. So have a look about the behavior of this forward defender. We can see at the beginning, um, we can see uh, another time. You can see at the beginning uh, the, um, the attack is under control. The attack is under control. And the forward defender, the forward defender now, okay, stop. It's a free throw, normal free throw. But at the same time, um, some seconds later, yes. Some seconds later, we don't know why she, but uh, center back also provoke a little bit more. And it's a, a foul with useless and could have immediately two minutes or, or for nothing. So please, in this situation, prepare our defenders don't make a big foul, it's useless when all is under control. And you know, for some players, it's not so easy to ask them this uh, behavior, okay? So if, uh, short focus, short resume that uh, uh, to have a, to be sure to have um, defensive success, that you must have a defense organization very precise with a very clear tactical intentions and all must be follow, must be follow. An initiative must, must uh, means, uh, an initiative in defense means something for the, for the partners. It's not an individual decision uh, without uh, signification. And in case of some difficulties, well, that's very interesting for, for you. Uh, everyone, everyone in defense should be able to make his own analysis. Immediately remember that our defender must be an actor, must be participate, but must be also organize his uh, step-by-step step is analysis. 
And um, also an additional idea is not so easy to, to put uh, during the, the game. Uh, sometimes um, it's interesting to have a defense that puts pressure on the attacker without permanent offensive defense. Uh, you remember that sometimes when we are starting an offensive defense, we are starting and we don't stop with this intensity during um, during uh, the next the next seconds, next minute. And sometimes it's not a good idea. You must also propose a rhythm, uh, like a change of rhythm also in um, this in this uh, permanent offensive defense. And those, that means also in a, that we must organize this um, at the same time during uh, training sessions, the same time, individual aspects and motivation to work together. Uh, we were talking about this some minutes ago also. And um, motivation to work together is also very important, especially with uh, young teams to, uh, to be sure to have a good level. Yes. Okay, we can we can stop a little bit um, before the the last uh, illustrations, so we can go out, Torsten, uh, and perhaps we can have now some uh, we can have now some uh, observations, questions with the continuity of this presentation. Yes, please. Yeah, please. Uh, no doubt for the small ages or the low level, we need to work a lot on the individual skills and training for the, especially for the defense. But my question is how about the top level, the very high level, you give a big interest in the training sessions for the dual one-on-one -on -one defense or uh, the most work is on two-on-two -on -two or three-on-three. -three. That's the, my question in the high level. Yeah, I can give you an example, it's better. Um, uh, I have another presentation about uh, to present uh, our um, progressive um, organization in, in our education process in French Federation. I can give you shortly what, what we organized last uh, 20 years. Uh, at first, at first, um, at first, under 12, under 10, 12, 14 years old, we are, we are interested to propose man-to-man -man defense, all the court, all spaces, uh, as you know very well, and with different uh, spaces, reduced spaces, open spaces, but mainly man-to-man. -man. No uh, specific organization, uh, classical organization with the teams, even some coaches prefer to have those one be because they will be able to win uh, with classical defense, the youngs. But we prefer uh, man to man. Then, when they enter in the talent center or with our teams under 16, we propose to start with um, some, some uh, defensive systems like uh, 5 1, uh, 6 0, but we, we we ask them to play, for example, 5-1 and 6-0 defense, man-to-man. -man. Means, means okay. that at first you are responsible what's happened with your direct opponent, depend on the ball position. And then we continue um, to improve the level of in one-on-one -on -one situation, like I explained to you some minutes ago, attack and defense. Uh, position, point of view. At the same time, during the team uh, working, teamwork, with man-to-man 6-0 -man defense, 5-1 especially. Uh, we prefer don't play uh, at first with 6-0 zone defense. At first, man-to-man. -man. That's a, the, the, the we are in very, it's very important for our, that our player understand their own responsibility in each defensive position, in open space or in closed space. And step by step, we um, progressively, we propose 
close cooperation, two and two, like you explained, two and two, three and three, but with the man-to-man -man basic uh, uh, process. Yes, step yes. by step, we continue later and, um, and uh, 18 and, uh, and later, sure, we, uh, we propose them a different uh, progressive line with different uh, systems, but we must be sure they understand the basic responsibility of one on one. Yes. Could be better to, uh, to illustrate with practical exercise, but perhaps later. No, no, I understand, I understand, thank you. You know, uh, uh, because you know that some, um, some you, can, you can follow a, a, another uh, direction, uh, it's possible. But we choose this, uh, especially 15 years ago uh, with our talent center and, uh, and, um, eight, um, and uh, 18 and uh, 17 and uh, 16 years old, especially with this guideline in uh, defense. You know, in, in France, our clubs, our coaching clubs, they can play as they, as they want, basically. Sure, it's better. But in our talent center, we must follow a guideline, even some, uh, each coach in, each, uh, in his talent center, he must adapt this guideline depend on the level of his player. It's a big process to develop the individual uh, skills, especially on defense. Yeah, sure. That's... Uh, it's decisive, decisive, because later it's very difficult. You must organize later if you don't have very good in one-on-one, -on -one, um, good behavior in one-on-one, -on -one, you must adapt, depend on the weaknesses, tactical weaknesses or technical weaknesses, and not for the strong points. Thank you, sir. Please. Another observation, please. Share, share your experience. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Yes, as we know, the P foot now is very dangerous in the, uh, in the game, okay? In the modern game handball. Uh, how we can uh, defend against the, the B foot? What is the best way to defend against the B foot? Uh, uh, at this moment, the best way is depend on the ball position and means that uh, the, if the pivot is close to six meter line, you must be in front of him between the ball and um, if the ball, for example, is uh, uh, center back, never be behind the pivot uh, close to the six meter line. Never be in front. Okay on sight, never behind. If you are behind, you are playing in numerical inferiority. Even the ball is not in the, with the pivot. It's because it's easy to the pivot, for example, without ball to block, to, uh, to receive the ball, especially if he's a tall player, to, to, to um, rotate, to provoke, uh, and um, it's easier to defend if you are in front of, of in front of uh, the pivot, and especially between the ball and the ball position and um, the pivot. Thank you. And, the, and it's not a question of contact, and don't uh, take care about this. It's a question of distance of the ball or the danger. So the, your defender must be able to. To, uh, to have a feeling about the danger, depend on the ball position, how the ball is possible to a direct pass or not, bounce uh, and so on, fake pass and so on. And you must take care about with your player that they must understand, not react, but if possible in anticipation. Okay. And you have a lot of uh, complex exercises, hundred and hundred exercises to, to propose to uh, your players with this. 
sir according to my observations uh, from your video different video clippings so uh, i feel it is the uh, automation of the player which uh, which was developed from the very beginning which you said uh, from uh, 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 year of 10 12 13 14 years so then they automatic the develop and automatically that is a switch up when they are going to the higher level tournament so yeah. it is not a not a things so we are going to participate the higher level tournament and that one month before two month before we are just go for the complex uh, uh, system of the defensive so then we can grow up it is my observation it is yeah, grown yeah. up from the very beginning yeah. very the young age so yeah. that is my observation yeah you, you are right you are right yes yes it's ba is basic to and and but if you have some smart player or yeah. player with very good uh, physical uh, skills uh, abilities and so on you 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 can um, you can have a fast lane you can have you can find a fast lane but they must understand the game but you can create a fast lane and to manage the weaknesses and the strong points of each player it's it's always possible to follow to follow to find to find a, a way but sometimes it's more difficult because you have less time yes yes right that is a main main, main factor it is very difficult the time time factor yeah. is there yeah so right. that means you you confirm it's very important for for your countries for you to yeah, start yeah, right. uh, to start earlier right sir we should try yeah <laughs> okay So we can see the last part. Torsten, the last part. The last part is a illustration another time about this. So first illustration is um, with this junior national team two years, uh, one one year and a half ago in final. To, to organize this um, offensive defense at the beginning of the game against Croatia. It was a, a cho uh, choice of the team and the, and the staff. Prevent, idea was preventing the opponent's plans. And that's, uh, in this case, a Croatian team cannot, uh, any time of the during the first 30 minutes, they cannot Go, cannot organize anything they prepared uh, before the game tactically. So idea, this uh, sentence, classical sentence, you know this, attack the attack in defense. Don't give the, to the attack half a chance to success. So it's a question of mental pressure. And if possible, uh, sometimes interrupt the organization or the uh, action of the attack or the attackers. Interrupt means without um, not uh, uh, with some light foul not a big foul if to have no uh, two minutes or additional problems so also it's a um, question of mental pressure make uh, the opponent unsure of himself it's a question of when you know you know when you are starting a game you are starting the second half you when you are starting after, after um, timeout for example what you can propose to make the opponent unsure of himself. Okay, so illustration with a clip. It's a following clip we saw uh, at the beginning. So you will see a normal speed and then with uh, Details, anal details, analyzing details. So have a look about the position of the attacks, the, how they choose. This Croatian team was as a, the three backs, very good, very high level, left back, long shoot, high level, center back, one-on-one -on -one and a fake uh, pass, fake shoot, very good. And the best player of the competition was the right back. So the French team decide what you see now in the slow motion with details, you will see how, the, how to control, how to control the, at first the right back 
how to control second time to control the cooperation between the right back and the center back and they decide to, for the left back this big uh, tall uh, it's 25 number 25 they decide to uh, to propose an open space for him because it's not so quick like the other but with uh, pressure of the direct opponent like we you can see So you can see how the, the space, space, spaces are reduced. Have a look about the basic position of each defender, direct opponent, control the direct opponent, depend of the ball position. Have a look about the ball, accept some outside situation and danger, but under control. Immediately after free throw, they continue the put pressure so that the left back, see, she, he must decide something, shooting one on one. And immediately uh, go forward for, for the first, second wave. Okay, next. The clip is not so good, Thorsten. The, the quality? Yeah. For you, it's okay? It's okay for me, yeah. Okay, but it's better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most important. So now, uh, yes, now we, we will use, we will see only one time this, because we saw this last week uh, also, uh, shortly. Remember, Germany used a three to one defense with inside uh, mixed uh, six zero defense and three to one. It was mixed uh, with this tall player in the forward central area, two meters and some something like this, and with speed uh, quick and speed reaction. Have a look about the, only the defense and. Sir, it is, looks very hazy. It's not good? Not good, sir. Ah. Looking very hazy. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, um, not good. Not good. Go, go to the next one. Um, yeah. Because you know this, you, we saw this clip. So, just the idea is. Yes, no, uh, now you, you will see the junior team, uh, the German junior team, and have a look how they organized uh, in defense. Ah, it's okay, it's better. With the junior, it's better. So, ah, it's not so good now. Perhaps you will you have uh, understood that the basic organization is close to the first team with a central forward defender with also a tall player and very on with speed. Very interesting. So it's close to the same tactics like the first team. Is uh, the close the same profile for same position so same profile in, uh, in defense. Okay. Next one. Idea is just to know that some teams, some uh, countries decide, some countries decide to um, to to have the same guideline uh, in um, in defense also. Same guideline, some pro same profiles, same positions, same physical uh, profiles, uh, also to prepare the future. Just an idea about the Spanish uh, team, Spanish um, Spanish um, philosophy. Spanish philosophy's uh, last ten years is basically based on the player's quality, and mentally, usually that's a Rivera, Rivera's uh, 
best well-known coach of uh, Spain 10 years ago. Um, usually the defender plays with his strengths. That uh, means uh, also for the coach, uh, an important motivation for to prepare the future. And one of the um, most important thing for Rivera was to play with less mistakes and most often with few exclusions. That uh, was eight, 10 years ago. Try also to, to um, organize the defense behavior depend on the rule, the referees and uh, rule interpretation. Please defend with your legs, not with arms. That's also classical sentences. And he, he concludes, our 6-0 defense is no more classic that was uh, some years ago, but with all those intentions, it's quite an offensive defense. He, he, he explained this some years ago because he, he, Spanish defense was uh, during several years based on a very, very strong uh, six, uh, zero defense. Okay. And normally the last clip about illustration with the women Spanish team in the last World Championship. Remember Spain uh, play, was playing as a final against Netherlands in, uh, in Japan. It's so interesting to, to see uh, the evolution so evolution, uh, we can see again, uh, evolution of the behavior of the forward defenders and how they choose to reduce the possibilities of attacks and how they accept and they orientate the, the shoot on the right side. So it's the idea to provoke, to provoke a shoot under pressure. It's a question of timing, cooperation. What we discussed about uh, last clips, um, with um, anticipation and uh, adaptation. Okay. Next, I think it's... Yes, and the last message for your teams. Idea is to... Um, uh, when you are with your yours teams, especially, especially, improve to take initiative in defense. So uh, encourage to take initiative. But for this, take care uh, during the, this learning process that your play defenders have a good understanding of the game. Explain them the different tactical possibilities. Uh, they must learn the, basically the, the Tactical, tactical, individual tactical intentions at first, not the team tactic intention. And uh, this uh, sentence is how to improve the quality to read the game, to read the game. That's a key word, key sentence for you, for the player for to prepare, to improve the game, not to, to improve the defender also. Read the game like we use this word also to in attack, read the game. And for the future, I think read the game in defense will, um, will give uh, additional opportunities uh, in uh, tactical organizations. Okay. Uh, okay, you can uh, go out, uh, Thorsten. Okay, that was. Uh, even it was close to two hours. It was a short resume with some key points. I was interested to, uh, to present to you. Uh, you know that if you choose to propose a, a learning process, um, tactical um, choice for uh, um, active and flexible defense, it must, you must have uh, time if possible. But uh, you must have a concept. That's most important. Have a concept. Your concept, your philosophy at first. Not choose um, a French, French, uh, French handball is a very good example. 
during 80s and the beginning of 90s, all coaches were interested with Yugoslavian handball. All coaches. We were, I, I was several times in Yugoslavia to see competition, training session, to in Romania, in Germany. And when I were coming back to France, immediately we tried to copy. Immediately. <laughs> Sometimes it was working, sometimes not. And during the 90s, we understood another generation of coaches and players, especially players, that it was necessary to find our own concept, own philosophy. And step by step, we, we create this. And especially, you know, France won a lot of competitions not only with men and uh, first team men and women, but also with your team, with the defense, with a good defensive um, behavior and good defensive concept. And when you, you are talking some minutes ago about the motivation in defense, it was our first problem, it's the same problem some years ago with the player, they were only interested with the ball, only interested. But when we create, we succeed to create um, a running process, depend of the offensive and uh, offensive point of view, step by step, with um, better complex situations, not analytic uh, situations, uh, we try, we succeed to have a better motivation. And motivation is also the basic, especially for flexibility and tactical uh, concept in defense. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Please. Any questions, comments, suggestions? Uh, please. Uh, Doctor, uh, please. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, Mr. Paul, uh, I ask about uh, my team is uh, a junior team, yeah. uh, and I learn them um, the open defense, like man to man or uh, three three because this is a good uh, to both uh, defensive or, uh, and uh, offensive. I ask what the, the better time I start learning them, the next uh, defense, um, like 3-2-1 uh, and uh, then 6-0, uh, what we show now. Yeah. What the better time after in the, the age? Thank you. Uh, so it's if your players, it's only uh, observation uh, or experience, if your players are not the best level in defense, if there are difficulties in one-on-one -on -one situation, it must be better to, to, to start with closer space. So means close to the six meter lines and step by step to go forward. Step by step, success yeah. by success. Because if you organize okay. a defensive system with 90% of the time in difficult situations, in weaknesses situations, your players will, um, will lose their motivation and your idea, your concept will, uh, will be destroyed. So better to start with closer spaces and then step by step, to win, uh, um, to win against, uh, to win spaces, timing, with at the same time a very important time, individual, uh, individual um, uh, in, um, working work in defense. A big ninety percent of your time in defense must be individual, and ten percent team tactic, for example. Completely opposite yes. of your perhaps classical way. Individual and close cooperation, one on one, two on two. It's you will be enough time to uh, propose um, to propose to improve your players in defense with motivation. Motivation. Complex exercise, less analytic exercise in defense. Thank you, thank you, sir. 
Example, for example, if you are one-on-one -on -one situation, if you are you're in defense from um, in passive position, that's you start in too many difficult uh, situations. You must be in active uh, action, active uh, position in any uh, situation, in any uh, exercises, any exercise. Less passive, uh, less passive behavior. Thank you, Mr. For example, if you choose 5 1 man to man, you can choose um, with uh, under 18, under 16. 5 1 uh, man to man means that you try to, um, to have um, offensive defense, always offensive defense, opposite of the pivot side. That's easy to, to understand, easy to organize. You understand the idea? Always when yes, you are. Yes. Defense on the opposite side of the pivot, I am in offensive with open space uh, position. And when the pivot is close to me, I'm more in defensive defense, defensive position, close spaces. But man to man, don't forget, man to man. I'm responsible of my direct. Uh, op open it. And, and also, Mr. Paul, it, do, it all depends on the player's profile and the, the team capacities to, yeah. so we can progress in defense. This is something uh, very important. Yes, exactly. Maybe, maybe I have a team and I will never play, can never play open defense uh, because I don't have clever players or I have uh, uh, speed players. This is, this is a problem. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't, don't put them in, uh, in difficulties. Uh, always. Yes, yes. <laughs> they, will, they will stay at home. <laughs> You're right. Completely agree. Adapted, adapted. Adapted, yes. Yes, it's necessary. But have uh, an ambition. Have uh, also an ambition for for the group, for the team. Please don't More stay. Time. Yes. Yeah, but also at the ambition, each training session, each match is um, its um, possibility to improve, not to stay in yes, the same yes. level. No, no, example. sure, sure. All. Uh, oui? Sorry, yes. I have to open the camera. Uh, one of the uh, challenges we face from Asia, yeah. we can play. Zero zone defense in, at home, and even in the continent. But when we play internationally, we cannot we cannot do the same defense. So we have to change the formation of defense because this is something in order to, to be productive. Remember in the first lecture you presented you and Dietrich, not yeah. many success in the international level for Asia. Yeah, but yeah, I think I, because I, of the defense, yeah. because of the system of defense, the, yeah. this, the system of defense we are used to will not work against top teams. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, uh, completely agree. Yeah, uh, um, I see. I saw a lot of times uh, your teams in the uh, youth and uh, and uh, junior uh, world championship or some qualification tournaments, and al always you have minimum in one match minimum. 15, 20 minutes, very good level. Yeah, very good level. This is true. Not the, all the match. Or That's true. during the competition, you have um, you have um, one minimum one or two matches with surprise, with good timing, good pressure, good fake movement, good uh, very good. But only one or two, and the, the next matches out of order because of mental pity, because of technical foul, because of physical level. So we, we can observe different possibilities, but perhaps we must have, must have a strategy during, with the same generation during four years, under 18, under 20, or under 19, under 21, 
you have four years. You, are, you don't have two years and two years, but you have four years. Four years, it's enough to have a good, perhaps not a good team to win the World Championship, the Junior Junior Championship, but you have time to have preparation for the next um, perhaps six, eight good players for the 18, for the future, or for the clubs also. You can have. Take care about what's happened with Egypt the last eight years. What's happened with Portugal the last two generations? Portugal was, where, was out of the ranking in your team some years ago. Now, the, two, the, the last two generations, very good. Very good uh, work the last five years in the federation, in the clubs. Very good. Two very Thank good you. for us. Thank you. Thank you. It is almost, as we are one minute above time. So, Paul, thank you for fantastic delivery. Thank you for uh, what you have shown, you shared. And uh, thank you guys for being on time, for being attentive. And final remark, get ready with your assignment. Ask okay. a question to Dr. Khaled. Ask a question, be ready. The deadline is 11. If you finished it earlier, please send it to Dr. Khaled. Thank, thank you, you all. Dr. Khaled, thanks so much, Paul. Thanks. Thank you so thank much. Thanks. Thank and you, Coach. See you tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, Coach. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. 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 Thank you.